Samuel Gill for Riders Hub here with Big 50, Darian Nelson Henry. How are you doing today, mate? I'm doing all right, man. Ready to get back to another week of work. Uh, an opening loss in the BBL Cup at the weekend. What did you make of the close game? It was one of the closest games I've seen in a while at the Morningside Arena. Right, right. Um, yeah, I mean, it's always tough to lose, especially to Newcastle. But, um, you know, we took away some positives for it. Uh, we found some stuff that we need to work on, absolutely. So I'm um, trying not to overreact to the first game, but um, definitely trying to improve on the areas that we uh, found to be a little weaker than others. How was lockdown for you then? Uh, how, how was the time off and, uh, and being away from basketball and, and then getting back? Yeah, it was tough. It was tough being away from basketball. It's probably the longest I've gone without playing basketball or shooting a basketball, maybe since I was like five years old, honestly. So that was pretty crazy. But um, it gave me an opportunity to work on a lot of other stuff, you know, like focus on my diet, um, nutrition, you know, uh, making sure that my joints and my body are healthy. So uh, I think you can find positives in everything if you look hard enough. And um, that was definitely one of them. Um, yeah, and just quality time, being able to catch up with friends and stuff, you know, it's not the same doing it virtually, but at the same time, um, you know, you get to catch up with some people that you haven't gotten some the time to talk to in a little while, so it was good uh, on that standpoint. How grateful are you then to actually get back onto court and be able to play again uh, with the with, mo with most countries actually locked down, including the UK at the moment? Yeah, oh, it's, a, it's an absolute blessing. I mean, uh, to be able to keep playing the game I love and doing it as a, as a job, you know, that's that's a dream. And, um, you know, you realize how much you love something when it's taken away from you for an extended amount of time. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's just good to be back out here competing with the guys and, um, you know, putting in the work that um, is necessary to put some, put some trophies up. Uh, what are your thoughts then on living in Leicester so far, going into your second year and, uh, and being with the riders? What, what, what are your thoughts on living in Leicester as a whole so far, personally? Yeah, I mean, I love Leicester, man. It's a good area, um, especially our little, our little neighborhood up in Bristol is yep. awesome. Um, all, a lot of the guys live up there, which is, which is amazing. We're, we get to hang out with each other every once in a while, you know, and uh, you know, it's a pretty communal vibe. And then um, aside from that, downtown Leicester is great. I, I just wish it was opened up soon. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then obviously I'm, I'm doing my master's up at Loughborough, yeah. so I get to spend some time up there. And the campus is beautiful. The university is amazing. So, you know, I just it's the best of both worlds. We got nature, we got the city, we got um, a nice university and a nice campus feel up there. So uh, yeah, I can't complain one bit. A big fan's favorite. What are your thoughts on the lack of fans um, th this past weekend at the Morningside Arena and yeah. going forward? Was it, was it weird for you? It's tough. It's tough without you guys there. Um, you know, you're, you're, you're what makes us tick. You know, you're, you're, the, you're the motor behind us. So when we can get the crowd behind us, it's, it's um, a whole different feeling. But um, we're trying to do our best to provide some entertainment for you guys virtually. Uh, but you know, it just it's not the same. It's not the same without the fans there. That's one of the things I look forward to most is talking to you guys up, up in the room after the game, down on the court, talking to the kids, you know, signing some stuff and just having a chat. So, you know, it's it's not the same. We miss you guys, but at the same time, um, we're doing what's safe. We're doing what the government advises right now, and um, just have to keep performing um, and hoping that we can see you as soon as possible. Um, and uh, two games this weekend, the Eagles once again and the Lions. You had a great battle with, battle with Maxwell of the Eagles uh, this past weekend. Are you looking forward to reigniting that again? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I don't think, uh, I don't think we showed our best stuff uh, mm. last weekend. I'm looking forward to um, displaying that this coming weekend. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, Cheers, thank mate. Thank you.